Hello. In this tutorial, we will look into how we can utilize the queries function in NFIFO 12. So the queries function are stuff which you might want to do maybe in the middle or near the end of your database or at the beginning if you are feeling quite adventurous. So we will explore uh, word frequency and text search. Now, word frequency is basically a search that looks across your own database and count up each and every single word and how often those words appears. And all of these are under queries. Um, so if you right click on the query screen, click on new queries and you see word frequency here. Or if you click on the explore tab at the top, you will also see word frequency. Now, this is what the word frequency screen looks like. By default, it will look into um, everything. But you could click on selected items and choose particular different files. So you could only look into three individuals if you wish. But in this demonstration, um, I'm just going to look into everything. Display word uh, by default is 1,000 most frequent, which is quite a lot. But let's look at the top 50 words. Minimum length, at least how long that word is. So at the moment, it says three, but let's pick it to four, which means all three letter uh, words or below are excluded by default. On the right hand side here, we have the groupings option. And that's quite a neat function. Uh, it just means that do we count each and every single word by itself, exact matches, or are we starting to count the variations of the same word? So we have here talk, talking, so talker, talks, those will all be grouped together. And the further down you go in this option, uh, the broader that option list gets. Um, so let's go for exact matches for now. Now the add to project items basically means do you wish to save this search criteria? Uh, and the run query is basically executing. So let's run it first and see what happens. So in my search, um, I have come up with 50, the top 50 icons. Um, and I have time as my top word with 193 counts and so on and so forth, the length and the different words. Now this layout isn't particularly fascinating, but if we look on the right hand side and you will see the option called word cloud. Now this is where things start to get a bit more interesting. So let me shrink it first so you can see a bit more. Now we've probably seen these in many blogs and you could change layout the screens at the top of the screen and if you like you can always right click and export the word clouds as an image file and then you can put it onto various um, presentations now the tree map uh, might be useful for some people um, the last time i checked it was not available in the mac version and cluster analysis is another uh, fancy function for some of us uh, who might be interested to know within those top 50 words how do these words group together? So we can see here that feelings and images, despite being the top 50, these words actually appear quite close to each other throughout the whole database. And last but not least, if you look at the top under the word frequency, there are alternative ways to present our data. Now the fanciest function is probably this second icon here, which is a basically a 3D uh, map of the word frequency. Um, how useful it is, well, I'll let you guys decide. So that's how you do a word frequency. So for the text search, you will go back to searches, queries, right click, new queries, text search. And the layout is pretty much the same as the word frequency. Uh, by default, looking into all files and externals. And this is the word you will have to search for, in my case, help. And for a text search, you will get these uh, special icons, which, it, which allows us to search with wildcard options. Uh, so you can put a question mark in between the word. So it will search for any characters within that and also and or not and so on and so forth. The NVIVO website will have more information about what those options mean. Um, so if I just click on as it is, uh, spread coding, I can just keep it none, press run query, and then the word help uh, will be searched for. In my case, if you look at the bottom left, in the eight files, there are 27 instances which the word help appears. Now, this is a summary screen. Uh, on the right hand side, we see different options. Now, they're not as exciting, uh, you might argue, compared to the word frequency, but they are quite useful, quite practical, because they list out what words under which references. 
Um, but perhaps the most exciting under the text search is this thing called the word tree. So if you click on the word tree, you will notice that the keyword help is in the middle. So let me shrink this. And if you click on any one of these charts, it will actually list out where the full sentence is. Now you may want to shrink this a little bit and also utilize the option at the top left to increase the amount of words. So you could click on the various words and see how that word appears in the wider context. Um, it could be quite useful uh, if you have a keyword or a key concept. I don't know, maybe um, Brexit as a keyword. And then you can see under what circumstances do people use that word, the context. So that's how you would use the word frequency as well as the text search.